the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. ADA deficiency is the deficiency of the adenosine deaminase. Bubble Boy was born with ADA deficiency. So there is a clinical scenario of ADA deficiency and the cues for diagnosis include opportunistic infections for example oral thrush which is a fungal infection of the oral cavity which is not uh, which is only seen in immunocompromised individuals then there is uh, lymphocytopenia and hypogammaglobulinemia these are also the cues to diagnosis decreased lymphocytes and decreased antibodies are present then the next two cues are the ADA deficiency and increased amounts of the deoxyadenosine nucleotides. So the diagnosis is a skid or severe com combined immunodeficiency syndrome secondary to ADA deficiency. The metabolic pathway which is defective is the uh, purine degradation pathway. So let's first consider the pathway that is affected. So these are the purines, adenine, adenine, adenosine monophosphate and deoxyadenosine monophosphate. For uh, their degradation, the amide group at the top is removed by deaminase and AMP is converted to IMP. Further degradation can occur after removal of the phosphate groups in the presence of nucleotidases. IMP is going to be converted to its nucleoside form that is inosine and AMP to adenosine. Now adenosine cannot be further degraded unless the, the amide group at the top is removed. So it is in the presence of it. Adenosine deaminase and this is our enzyme. Adenosine deaminase. So adenosine deaminase removes the amide group from its top and it is converted to inosine. Inosine can undergo further degradation after removal of the sugar moiety and it is converted to its base form hypoxanthine. Likewise, deoxy AMP can be deaminated to form IMP or it can be uh, it can undergo degradation by in the presence of nucleotidase to form deoxy adenosine then deoxyadenosine in the presence of adenosine deaminase can be converted to deoxyinosine which can lose its sugar moiety to become uh, hypoxanthine hypoxanthine can be converted to xanthine in the presence of xanthine oxidase and xanthine can be converted to uric acid again in the presence of xanthine oxidase. Uric acid is water soluble and is excreted out of the body. Now coming to the ADA deficiency. So this is the enzyme that is deficient. Now the pathway stops over there and here we see a truncated pathway and the toxic precursors are going to accumulate. So adenosine and deoxyadenosine are going to accumulate. 
There are three proposed mechanisms for the toxicity, uh, toxicity caused by these toxic precursors. The first two mechanisms rely on the uh, accumulation of DATP. It causes redu uh, inhibition of the ribonucleotide reductase and inhibition of the S adenosyl homocysteine hydrolase. Whereas excess adenosine accumulation stimulates the adenosine receptor since it is also a signaling molecule leading to cyclic AMP accumulation. So now let's consider these effects one by one. First of all, we'll consider the uh, inhibition of the ribonucleotide reductase enzyme. Ribonucleotide reductase is a dimer. It consists of R1 and R2 subunits, also called the alpha and beta subunits, and an R1 subunit. There are allosteric sites, specific substrate specificity site, and the activity site shown as the uh, in the triangular form. The substrate specificity site is uh, shown as rectangular form. The uh, molecule binding at the substrate specificity, specificity site dictates that which ribonucleotides are going to be converted to their deoxy forms. So first of all, if ATP is occupying the substrate specificity site, it is going to cause the conversion of pyrimidines to their deoxy forms and ultimately DTTP is going to accumulate. When DTTP accumulates, it displaces the ATP from the substrate specificity site and now it is going to dictate that which ribonucleotide is going to be converted to its deoxy form and for it the ribonucleotide is GDP and which is converted to deoxy GDP. When deoxy, G when deoxy GDP accumulates, it displaces the DTTP from the substrate specificity site. It occupies the substrate specificity site and now it is going to decide that which, which ribonucleotide is going to be converted to its deoxy form. And for DGDP, the preferable ribonucleotide is ADP. So ADP is converted to its reduced form by reduction of the hydroxyl group on the 2' prime position of the sugar moiety. So, the sugar moiety is reduced and it is converted to DADP. DADP, after requiring phosphates in the presence of kinases, is converted to DATP and DATP occupies the activity site. Now this is not going to displace DGDP from the uh, substrate specificity site. It is going to act on the activity site and it is going to inhibit the enzyme. So it gives a signal that all the uh, deoxy ribonucleotide forms have been produced and there is no need for further production and it is going to inhibit the enzyme. So this machinery is shut down. Now what happens in ADA deficiency is that there is accumulation of DADP without formation of all these deoxy ribonucleotides and ribonucleotide reductase receives a false signal that all the deoxy forms of the ribonucleotides have been synthesized and the enzyme activity is inhibited. So this compromises, uh, compromises the synthesis of the DNA. The second me uh, mechanism for the toxicity is inhibition of the enzyme S adenosyl homocysteine hydrolase, which is involved in one carbon metabolism. So, let's have a recap of the one carbon metabolism. Normally, tetrahydrofolate takes part in the transfer of methyl groups 
it hands over the methyl group to the vitamin B12 and homocysteine receives the methyl group from the B12 and is converted to methionine. Methionine in the presence of ATP acquires adenosine and is converted to S-adenosyl methionine. S-adenosyl methionine donates the methyl group to the methyl group acceptors and itself is again converted to S-adenosyl homocysteine which loses adenosine and is converted to homocysteine so that it can now transfer more methyl groups. So this cycle goes on and on and uh, methyl groups lead to the conver conversion of norepinephrine to epinephrine, guanidoacetate to creatine, nucleotides to methylated nucleotides, phosphatidyl, ethanolamine is converted to phosphatidyl choline and acetyl serotonin is converted to melatonin. So the, that is the one carbon metabolism taking place in the cell. Now when S-adenosyl homocysteine hydrolase is inhibited due to accumulation of the DATP, not only that all these reactions are not going to occur, there is accumulation of S-adenosyl homocysteine, so there is the block and S-adenosyl homocysteine accumulation is going to trigger the apoptosis and cell death. The third mechanism of toxicity is adenosine accumulation which is a signaling molecule. It uh, causes inappropriate stimulation of the adenosine receptors activating a signaling cascade leading to accumulation of cyclic AMP which triggers apoptosis. Now question arises that why only B and T cells are affected whereas all the body cells contain, contain the ribonucleotide reductase. One explanation is that the other body cells secrete the excess deoxyadenosine into the circulation but the lymphocytes are already present in the circulation and they tend to accumulate these compounds and the accumulation of these compounds leads to the toxic effects. The treatment includes bone marrow transplant or gene therapy if these treatments are not possible the ADA may be administered. So the mechanism of uh, toxicity is that although the purine degradation pathway is affected but the toxicity is caused by the ATP by inhibition of the ribonucleotide reductase plus inhibition of the S-adenosyl homocysteine hydrolase which triggers apoptosis and third mechanism is that excess adenosine leads to the accumulation, inappropriate accumulation of cyclic AMP which also triggers apoptosis.